finally got a bit of cardboard. I've got the panels now, so I've got a bit of cardboard as big as the panel. And I've actually managed to mark it out. So I need to put all my uprights in, and then my long bits in, and then put my panels on. What could be easier? The only thing I've ever demanded about is, I need to work out the positive and negative. It sounds embarrassing as fuck, but I don't want to get it wrong. So yeah, this will be happening this weekend. I'd start now, but I'm going to the pub. Huh. I've started, look. I've put my centre up. I'm going to turn around and do this so it'll be wank. i put my centre up and I've put a bit of uni across. I'm using uni struts as a rail because I'm a cheap bastard, yeah? The reason I put that uni here like that is because when I put the next one up here and the next one up here, I don't want to drill the uni. I've got slotted uni. So I've used that centre hole, what is slightly to the left of centre hole there. And then when I've got to here where my line wants to be, you'll see it says up there, long look, happens to be on a hole. That one also happens to be on a hole. But if I had put the uni up, they'd both be in the solid bits I won't be able to get my bolts through. But yeah, that's my plan. There's going to be a long one like that. That I'll have a vertical and a horizontal one above. So there'll be up, 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 up five times. And then two laid across the top. And there's going to be a rail at the bottom to take the weight. And there's going to be three rails behind each panel for it to be clamped on. Because it's warm out. But yeah, I've started. And I expect to not finish. Probably thinking what access equipment I'm using. Am I being safe? The constant answer is no. I'm using this wall. But my plan is, I've got a plan. At the minute, the easiest way to get up here is on this wall. I've got some steps up to get on the wall. I'm not just climbing up here. This rail here is going to be onto these upright rails. And I'm going to bolt this up. And this is what I'm going to tether my ladders to. So my ladders don't slip off. So I am getting towards using steps. But just for the minute, can't get an angle on this row. So I'm going to use this as my safety bar for my ladders, you see. So I'm thinking about safety. Also, I've checked that no one's working below me. Because that would be a fucking moronic thing to do. Uh, never checking, no one's working below me, look. There's no Teslas there for me to drop here and snip through the window off. So yeah, I'm laughing. What are you thinking? Where's he at? Oh, is he far off that wall yet? Well, I'm there. I'll turn around and show you in a minute. Uh, it's, the fucking, it's not just me, I've done loads of planning on this, so actually, I've thrown up what I want to do in four hours, what I thought would take me all day. Uh, that's because I've planned it all out with the assistance of DMH Electrical, uh, Mark Allison, Kato's going to be a bit of a digger as well, so... Cheers to all them. Uh, but yeah, because I've actually not been a spastic and just run into it, and I've been thinking about it, and I it all goes together and I wait to get the panels together, they all mount and they all function with each other, I've actually got what I want to do. So I'll show you. You start to see that there'll be one, two, three, four, five that way, and up there, there'll be two that way. Cables over there, that's a little black conduit, so I'm going to get those cables through tomorrow. DMH Geezer, thank you very much, he's been helping me out. I'm going to run one cable. All the way down to here leave a loop and the other cable i'll just leave in a loop there and then i will plug those as required make sure i've got my panels the same way up and all my planets right then i'm probably going to go in one in two in three up through that one through that one and through that one and then back out but what i'll do is i'll just leave a loop there whoop whoop and down because i'm only open to get these five up this weekend just to get me inverted working so yeah i'm uh i'm not going into solar not fucking not any chance but uh I'm happy with what I'm getting on with here. I'm well happy with what I'm getting on with here. Unless I reverse plant it and fucking kill it. Big shout out to my man DMH up here. He's given me a couple of top tidbits today. One of them was uh, about polarity. I was moaning about testing it because I'm not really sure. I don't want to put the stuff into me invert the wrong way. I don't want to get my polarity from. I don't want to do the plug from and all that. So I'll be dead cautious to take it down, get the panels out here, test them, mark the polarities, lay them all out the same way, get my cabling right, mark it up and all, all that bollocks yeah, that I don't know about. And he says, don't worry when you're testing because... DC only wants to make friends with DC. So if you get your positive, you can't electrocute yourself because it doesn't want to go to Earth, it just wants to go to the negative. If it's negative, it won't electrocute yourself, it wants to go to the positive. So there's no way you can really hurt yourself unless you get between a positive and a negative, which is great when I'm stood out here with a fucking massive panel in the wind, ramming my flute probes into each end to work out which way is which. But yeah, I do appreciate it, and it's that kind of information that I glean off this, in, this site, this social media on Instagram, that makes it worth me while, uh, even though someone does occasionally try and sell me a torch. But yeah, cheers, everyone. I'm going to the pub now to drink about six pints of mango cider and obviously then wake up about four o'clock in the morning and eat about 45 rennies.